God is saying to you today, as we should never forget that as Christians, our lives belong to him. You are not alone, I am with you. You are not a mistake and I love you. God has your back and he will help you get through this hard time. Don't give up on yourself. Our shoes can make it through this. If you feel like it's impossible to keep going, remember that God loves you and wants the best for you. If you didn't think that was possible, he wouldn't have sent Jesus to die for us on the cross. God thinks we're worth it. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. God is saying to me today, I am the Lord your God. I love you more than anyone or anything else in this world can love you because I am a jealous God and I will not share your heart with anyone or anything else. You are mine. You belong to me and I own you. My love for you is unending and unconditional. God is saying to me today, you are my child and I love you with an everlasting love that does not change based on what happens in life or how we feel about ourselves. But it never changes because it is never dependent on us but rather comes from who I am as a loving father who loves all his children unconditionally. No matter what we do or don't do, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. If you receive this message, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. She leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I want to help you see things differently. I want to help you find a new reason to do things. I want to help you make a new strategy. God wants you to understand that he will take care of you and that he will always be there for you, never abandoning you. And it's time for you to stop looking at what other people have and start looking at what God has for you. It's time for us to stop worrying about the future because God has already planned out our destiny. God wants us to know that he has given us everything we need for life and godliness through his Son. Jesus Christ. As we trust Jesus as our Savior, then we can be sure that we will receive all of the blessings of eternity with him when he returns. I am with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I love you, and I want to see your life blossom. If you believe in me and trust me, then I will lead you out of darkness and into the light. And if you believe in me and trust me, then I will show up in your life when you need me most. If you believe in me and trust me, then I will give you strength for every trial that comes your way. You are more than a conqueror through me. Nothing is impossible with God. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You are made to be the best you that you can be. There is no one else in all of creation like you. You are unique, special, and irreplaceable. You have something amazing to contribute to the world. But the world needs your gifts, talents, and passions. You have a purpose that only you can fulfill. You were created for such a time as this. A time when your unique gifts would be needed for the benefit of others. You are not here by accident nor by coincidence. There is nothing random about your life or your purpose on earth. Whatever circumstances you find yourself in today, remember this. We are all here for a reason and our lives have purpose. You are enough. You are perfect just the way you are. Here is the corrected version of the text with commas and full stops. I made you to be like me and I love you no matter what. You are made in an amazing and special way. You are one of a kind, really special and can't be replaced. Nobody else can do the things you can or be just like you. But you have a special purpose for being here on earth and it is not vain or insignificant. I know all things about you. I knit you together in your mother's womb. I knew your name before I formed you in your mother's womb. 
I knew your name before the foundation of the world. You were not an accident, but part of my plan from the beginning. I created the universe out of nothing. Therefore, I can create something out of nothing too. If I could create the universe with just a word, then surely I can use my word to bring healing and restoration into your life today. Don't worry about tomorrow. I have taken care of it already. Don't worry about yesterday. I have already forgiven all of your sins. Don't worry about the past. Only look forward to a brighter future. That cloud that looks like rain is actually a blessing from above. As it will cause the grass to grow and provide food for animals. When you are going through a rough time, remember that God loves you and will never leave you. If you're going through a hard time and you think you're alone, I am with you. If you're going through a hard time and it feels like no one else has ever felt this way before, I have been there before. And if it feels like you've tried everything and nothing works, I know what it's like to feel all of those things. If it feels like your prayers aren't being answered, I hear your prayer. If it feels like no one understands what you're going through or why, I understand everything about your situation. And if there seems to be no hope or light at the end of the tunnel for your situation right now, God's words for you are these. Do not fear, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. You're okay. You're not perfect, and I know it. I know you're not perfect, and that's okay too. You are my child, and I love you unconditionally. I am with you always. I will never leave you or forsake you. I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity to give you a future and a hope. There is nothing too great or difficult for me. If God can do anything, then there is nothing too great or difficult for him. I will never leave or forsake you. When all seems hopeless, God says that he will never leave or forsake us. I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I have gone before you into battle and won the victory for you. You are not alone in your struggles and difficulties, for I am with you. I have given you gifts that only I can give, but no one else can give but me. My gift to you is the ability to see things that others cannot see and hear things that others cannot hear. That you are blessed with the divine insight and understanding of my word that few possess or ever will possess. You see with spiritual eyes and hear with spiritual ears. You know the truth of my word because I am truth itself. You are a mighty warrior in my army who has been given authority over all the power of hell. You are anointed by my spirit so that nothing can harm or defeat you. Nothing can stand against your authority. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you. The devil was beaten by my blood when I died on the cross at Calvary. So when you trust in what I say and stand up to him, he has to run away from you. But you are free from worry, fear and anxiety today because I am with you every step of the way. Trust in me even when things don't look like they are working out. Don't worry about tomorrow because I have already taken care of it. Don't be afraid to take risks and make changes in your life. He is saying continue following your dreams and never give up on them, no matter what others say or think about them. He is always on our side, even when we feel like we are all alone in the world and things are falling apart around us. God is still there with us. He knows about the challenges that you face each day and he wants to give you strength to overcome them. When life feels like it's too much to handle or when you just don't know what to do next, turn to God. He will strengthen you and give you peace during this time of trial. Here is the corrected version of the text with proper punctuation. I love you. I will always love you. I will never leave you. My arms are wide open to receive you. You are my child and I am your father. You are my beloved daughter and I am your loving father. Whatever you need in this moment, I will provide it for you. It is not good for man or woman to be alone. Therefore I have created a partner for you that is perfect for you and whom I have prepared just for this time in your life. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a victor in the battle of life. I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and his kingdom. 
All that you need to do is claim it. So claim it today and every day. Claim it in Jesus' name. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a victor in the battle of life. I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy and his kingdom. All that you need to do is claim it. He wants to help you, but he cannot help you if you don't let him. He knows what it means to be human, and he knows how difficult it is for people to be perfect all of the time. He forgives your sins, but only if you ask him for forgiveness. God is interested in what's going to happen to you in the future, and he wants to show you how to succeed in life. I am the one who can make you better when you're sick. You mean a lot to me, and I love you. I've looked after you really well. I am sending my angels to be with you to protect and guide you, to help you in every area of your life. They will speak the words that I would speak to you if I were there personally. They will bring healing and restoration into every part of your being, mind, body and spirit. They will help you overcome any obstacle that has been placed before you by Satan or man, including sicknesses of all kinds, lack or financial need, and any circumstance that has caused discouragement or depression. They will bring healing back into your life so that you can walk in peace once again. You are enough. You are a good person and you have value. God loves you just the way you are. Your family loves you even if they don't show it. Your friends care about you and want to see you happy. Love, you have the power to change your life for the better but only if you want it badly enough. Don't compare yourself to others. No one else is living your life but you. It's okay that we don't always agree on everything. We are still family. Let's not make it harder than it needs to be by arguing over silly things that will never change anything between us. Anyways, I know who you are. Here is the corrected version of the text with commas and full stops. I know what you are going through. He knows your pain and how it feels. He understands the decisions that you have made, the choices that you have made, and the consequences of those choices. Blanchard, he knows what it feels like to be misunderstood, criticized, and even hated. But God also knows how to make all things work together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. God sees your heart and he knows that you've been wounded by others maybe even by people in the church who should have been there for you, but weren't. They were busy doing their own thing or trying to get ahead in life instead of being present with those who were hurting around them. God loves you more intensely than anyone ever could or will, and he will never abandon you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Do not let yourself be overwhelmed by the magnitude of your tasks. I will give you strength and energy and I will guide you. Do not let discouragement, weariness, or the difficulty of circumstances keep you from doing what I have commissioned you to do. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You are precious and honored in my sight. Bumty loves you and he cares for you, even though you feel like nobody cares about you. God is watching over you and keeping a special eye on your life. He knows everything about you from the day you were born until the day you die. God knows every thought that goes through your mind, every word that comes out of your mouth, and every action that takes place in your life. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to come down to earth and die for our sins so that we could have eternal life with him in heaven one day when we die. 
Jesus died on the cross as a sacrifice for our sins so that we could be forgiven of all our wrongdoings and receive eternal life with him in heaven. When Jesus came back to life three days after he was crucified, it showed that he beat death forever. Us of what Jesus did for us by dying on the cross for our sins, God wants us to know how much he loves us so much. Therefore, he will never leave nor forsake us, no matter what happens in our lives. God wants you to know that he loves you and that he has a plan for your life. He wants to bless you, but sometimes we block his blessings by our actions and our attitudes. God says that there is a time of testing coming on the earth. It will be difficult. But if you stand firm in your faith, it will end well for those who are righteous in God's eye. Here is the corrected version of the text with commas and full stops. God is telling you that he wants to use your talents and abilities for his glory. It may not be easy, but it will be worth it in the end, as long as you don't give up on your dream or purpose. God says that if you seek him with all your heart, then he will reveal himself to you and show you his love for you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and wait upon me, be quiet. Sit quietly. Do not rush around so much. Be at rest. Be quiet before me, wait upon me expectantly. Wait upon me, you do not have to see anything or hear anything yet. But just wait on me. Wait on me, that I have something for you, but it is not time for you to receive it yet. But wait on me, for it will come when the time is right. And when it does come, I will give it to you freely and with great joy. God told me, even before you were in your mother's belly, I knew all about you. Before you were born, I had special plans for you. I chose you to be a messenger to many people. You're like my special servant, and through you I will reveal how glorious I am. That if you will allow him to be your guide, he will lead you into a new level of maturity and into a season of peace. That he has placed within your heart a desire to do something great for him. But he also knows that if you will be patient, he will show you what that something great is. That there are many people who are hurting around you and they need your love, compassion and prayers. That he wants to give you favor in any situation or circumstances in life so that no one can stop or hinder what he has planned for you. That when things look bleak and hopeless, just know that his plans for your life are far greater than anything Satan could ever plan for it. I love you. And that's why I sent my son. And you're struggling and don't know what to do or where to go. I want you to know that I will help you find your way. I love the fact that you are trying so hard to do what's right, even though it may seem like you're alone in this world. I'm always with you, even when times are tough and your life doesn't seem worth living anymore. Remember that I will never leave nor forsake you. God wants you to know that he has all the power, he has all the wisdom, he has all the love and he has all the grace. God wants you to know that he is with you. God wants you to know that he will never leave you or forsake you. God wants you to know that he loves you and cares for you, even when it doesn't seem like it, because he knows what's best for your life. God wants you to know that his plan is always better than our plans, because his plans are perfect and righteous, whereas ours are flawed and sinful by nature. I am with you. I am always with you. You are never alone. I will never leave or forsake you. I will love you forever, and I want to show you how much I love you by giving you everything that I have to give. My child, come to me and find rest for your soul. Don't worry about what others think about you. Just worry about what I think about you and my opinion matters most. And don't worry about who you are or where you come from because I have a great plan for your life. It will be more than sufficient for whatever challenges you face today. Don't get stuck in the past. Let it go and move on. You are a new creation. And with you, even when things don't seem to be going right, you can do anything through me because I am strong and mighty. Get up, shake off that old dead self and put on the new self, the one that comes from me. I want you to know that I am with you in the good times. 
and in the bad times, I am always with you. I want you to know that I love you just as you are and that I have a plan for your life. I want you to know that I will never leave or forsake you. I want you to know that no matter what happens in life, my love for you never changes. I want you to know that even when things seem impossible for me to do it all by myself, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Let me give you a word of encouragement. The word of God is a seed. It has the power to produce new life. The word of God is powerful, effective, and creative. It builds up, strengthens, and encourages the believer. But when we listen to God's words, it's like a tiny seed being put in us. As that seed grows and becomes stronger in us, it makes good things that will stay with us forever. This message from God should make you feel better. Don't feel down when you look at what's happening around you today. But don't allow your circumstances to determine your future or what God has for you. You can trust that he has your best interest in mind when he gives you a word of encouragement through his word. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything.